Sean's leaving me today. Leaving ya. Any last words you want to say before you abandon me? What are you doing last words? I'm not going to see you for like two months. You think two months. It could be three weeks. It could be Steve blows another tire out here like he did the last time I rode with him. And we sit here forever. You know? No. I don't want you to go. I know you don't want me to go. I don't want to go either, but I kind of have to. You know? And out there is my chariot. First time I'll ride in a Cascadia, too. Alright, most of you know by now that I went out with Trucker Steve. He gave me a lift to the West Coast. For those of you that are maybe new or didn't follow along, I had to go back into BC to get my license renewed and take care of some issues. And he was cutting through town. He was going to do a video with me. Instead, he ended up giving me a lift. So, like any good YouTuber does, he brings his camera along and gets some clips. The first night, we didn't really do much. We basically just made it from Indiana here into Charleston, Missouri. Anyways, the next day, we got up, took some time, went online, and started moseying down the road. Now, once we got into Arkansas, we found a sign for... Steve's favorite place. Bald Knob. It actually says Bald Knob. And the two of us are here. We've made it, man. We yeah. finally made it. Now let me stop the video here at this point. Doesn't it look like Trucker Steve is in awe that they've actually named a place after him? You know the best thing about Bald Knob? No, what's the best thing about Bald Knob? The freedom here. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. uh, pretty free. Yeah. You know, I almost feel like I'm not wearing any underwear, man. Well, exactly, you know. Uh, you're just kind of waving back and forth. You know, I, I, even, I played with my bald knob in bald knob. It's the minute I go in my cock out, I'm like, you know, I feel free. You do? You know, I feel free so, to let Sean suck on my bald knob. What do you yeah. think? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Okay, maybe not. Personally, I would. Hey, you know. Rooster might. Rooster might. Rooster probably would. No, yeah, he would. He would definitely. Yeah. He's into that type of shit. That's right. Now, as you can see, the sun was starting to set at that point, so I didn't really get much with the camera. Basically, nothing really happened. We drove down the road. I slept. I did a little bit of video, you know, editing, and Steve was driving and sleeping. And we made it into uh, Mount Vernon, Texas, to Love's Truck Stop. Love truck stop. And Steve is gone and fucked things right up. Nosing into a spot. Now, you know, really, I wanted to get a lot of footage of, you know, Steve screwing up on the road and everything, but unfortunately, he didn't give me much material. He's too much of a freaking professional. However, that next morning, we started doing some videos. I started doing some behind the scenes while Steve started on his vlog video. The battery's almost dead. Does it have a charger? Do you... Yeah, I got a, I got a charger. I got a second battery too. Should be fully charged. Okay, let me stop it here again. Um, yes, I had a spare battery, and yes, I had a charger. Dingleberry there, I guess moved some stuff the first night. Ended up dumping my battery charger into one of his bags and hiding it on me annoyingly. I went the whole trip to BC without my charger on one battery that doesn't really hold much of a charge anymore. The good thing is though, he did find it when I came back into the truck. Countless nights in that stupid transfer truck that the bunk heater didn't work at minus 40 degrees. Kind of hurt the batteries there. That's a nifty little toy you got. It works. Yeah, well at least you're playing with that toy, not your toy that you were... Yeah, the one you were playing with, the bald knob there. It's my favorite toy though. Wow. Uh, I can imagine. Uh, 
I gotta say, you're good at, at hand pumps like that. Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, no, you're gonna film it over there. Yeah, yeah, you get, you know. Really get me fucking... Well, you get, <laughs> get kind of the uh, outtakes behind the scene, you know. I'm getting fucking sweaty up in here. Yeah. It's a labor of love, you motherfucker. See what That's I go right. through? This I'm getting all sweaty up in here, leaving the truck off so I could fucking clean audio. Exactly. As clean as this fucking little flip camera can, can do. You're not even fucking recording anymore, are you? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Frick. Yeah. Guys, gals, and transgenders. I mean, rooster, if you're watching. Anyhow, um, hello, tubers, YouTubers. Fucking all you peoples on the internet. This is I, Trucker Steve, the fucking infamous, the one and only, the fucking King Dingaling, the fucking. <laughs> I don't even know if he's a <laughs> Next time on Travel with Trucker Steve. We just uh, ran into the world Joe Average out here in Texas. I'm 23 now, and will I live to see 24? The way things are going, I don't know.